40 years old, trying to come back this year after torn Achilles. Are you buying that he can be good enough to make the Jets a force in the AFC East? I think he could. I think you can look at it as two ways. If you take that sound per se and you're saying, oh, he looks emotional or broken, I don't necessarily think that's the case. Instead, I think he's going to come into this fired up and wanting to play the best he possibly can just to prove a point. A guy like this that even wants to play in the NFL at this point, we know his psyche. He wants to be the best or else you would hang it up at that point. And you have a perfect excuse. And Achilles is a perfect excuse to be like, you know what, I'm retiring. That's enough. I think he comes back. I think he's going to be very good. And if he's able to stay healthy, then yes, they're going to be a force in the AFC for sure. On paper, they look great. They look like the best team on paper in that division because if you take away the quarterback last year, they had an amazing defense. Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson mm-hmm. were amazing. I agree with you. And Aaron Rodgers has shown us before that when you doubt him or when he is ticked off by something, yep. he will play inspired football. Draft Jordan Love, I'll win back-to-back league MVP with the Green Bay Packers. So, yeah. I-, I, like you, Aaron, tend to think that it the more likely outcome, even at age 40 and an Achilles, is that Rodgers comes back and plays Mm-hmm. Rodgers-esque football, which means the Jets are the team to beat in that division. Anita Marks, I know you want to weigh in on this. So come on in here, Anita. How are you feeling about what Rodgers will do in 2024 after hearing what he had to say following the in- injury? Yeah, listen, there's there's a lot of very high expectations here in New York, especially with Jets fans. And you talk about Aaron Rodgers. He's 40 now. He's going to be 41 in December. Uh, really, the most important thing is Joe Douglas, the, the GM of the Jets, went out and improved this offensive line, bringing in Tyron Smith from the Dallas Cowboys. They add Simpson. They add Moses as well. So now you've got a better offensive line to better protect your 40, soon-to-be 41-year-old quarterback. On top of that, Aaron's really pulling the strings here, right? He's got his offensive coordinator. He's telling them who to bring onto this team. They added Mike Williams. Who knows? Maybe they add Odell Beckham Jr., not only that, they've got a top 10 pick in the NFL draft. A lot of people think they're going to draft Brock Bowers, bring in a real electric, exciting tight end to add to this offense. And Tyler, you hit on it. You look at the AFC East, the Bills, I mean, they're so depleted now on both sides of the ball. Sorry to our producer, Eddie Marlette. <laughs> uh, the Dolphins, they couldn't beat a team that was above 500 last season. And the Patriots more than likely are going to be rocking a rookie quarterback. If ever there was a time for Rodgers to prove everyone wrong and, 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 and be that phoenix yeah. that rises from the ashes, it's this <laughs> season. And everybody in here in New York is believing it. Yeah, 225 plus 225, I should say. The Jets price to win the East. I'm interested in that. Nine and a half wins. I'm going to go over that. Yeah, what we are talked both about of those? this not too long ago. That we, I liked them to win the sure. AFC East right now. Again, this is all on paper, <laughs> but there's just certain athletes you don't piss off in a way and Aaron Rodgers knows what everybody said about him that the career should be over he's going to come into this season fired up again he's got to be able to stay healthy but it's not like this happened mid-season or at the end of the season this happened week one so he has even more time like there was a point last season we were thinking could he possibly come back and they didn't do that because they're obviously out of contention for the postseason and whatnot but I wouldn't count this team out by any means just because he had an Achilles injury last year in fact I'm going to count them in as my favorite to win the AFC East at plus 225